It was like a slow rumble, like a, it was like a slow rumble, like a wave of rumbles coming. You could hear it from a distance before it hit. It jolted people out of bed, put cracks in buildings, even knocked things off of store shelves. A strong earthquake rattled North Carolina this morning. People reported feeling it all around the state and up and down the East Coast as well. Earthquake had a magnitude of 5.1. It struck at 8.05 this morning, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. It was centered near Sparta in Allegheny County. Here's a map. The National Weather Service says this is the largest earthquake in North Carolina in more than 100 years. In 1916, a 5.5 magnitude earthquake happened near Skyland, right outside of Asheville. Well, there is damage all over Sparta from water main breaks to cracked roads and even more. And Meredith Stutz spent the day in Sparta and shows us what people there are dealing with. Take a look. We're here in Allegheny County where for the first time a state of emergency has been declared for an earthquake after that historic 5.1 magnitude shook neighbors here earlier this morning. Now we're here in the town of Sparta where thankfully no major injuries were reported, but some major damage has been called in, including here at this home where thankfully two sisters were able to get out alive, but not before part of their chimney fell onto the backyard. Now today we rode around with the town's mayor to not only survey damage, but also check in on neighbors. In 2.6 miles, turn left on Down each road, each neighbor, like Christina Hempstead, shared the same shaken sentiment. I'm still in shock. I've never, ever, ever felt an earthquake. Each one, including Mayor Wes Brinninger, replays the moments. About 8.08 .08 this morning, uh, laying in bed asleep. It was like a slow rumble, like a wave of rumbles coming. You could hear it from a distance before it hit. And it felt like one of those wave machines. Uh, just kind of lifts you up off the ground a little bit and then sets you right back down. On Sunday, crews worked to repair this road after the earthquake caused an underground water break and split the road open. Like you can just feel the energy. A feeling described like a roller coaster. Tell it's terrifying. For River Brooks. Yeah. Wow. No, yeah, I mean, no control. You can't do nothing. Just run, I guess. The quake caught on camera at his family's salon until it was knocked off the shelf. Here at this food lion, food littered the aisles. Roger Wimmer felt it at his house, too. Just big windows, and they were all just shaking like this right here, and I just knew they was coming out. My car <laughs> was rocking back and forth. It was insane. Everything moving, you look around, stuff falling. It lasted probably, I would say, about 10 to 15 seconds. Seven-year-old Manuel Perez suffered the only known injury in the town when a glass picture frame fell on him. When it started shaking, it went in. Even so, he was excited to show off his Band-Aid. In a matter of seconds, a historic earthquake felt across the eastern half of the country struck this small town. Upset and confused. Uh, we've never been through anything like this. Each neighbor in Sparta now adds a natural disaster to their 2020 memories. The riots, the pandemic, now an earthquake. I think I'd like to get a t-shirt that says I survived a 5.1 earthquake. <laughs> now we're told there's so much structural damage to this home that it has been deemed unsafe to live in. Thankfully, the two sisters who call it home have been relocated. Now, as for that historic state of emergency here in Allegheny County, it's so to allow for federal and state resources to come in to help these neighbors clean up in the days and weeks to come. Reporting in Sparta, Meredith Stutz, WXII, 12 News.